Hey guys, it's Joe Carroll here in Nashville, Tennessee. I'm uh, coming to you again today on behalf of our friends with Plugin Alliance. And today I was wanting to talk to you about analog saturation. It's a feature I use a lot in my mixing, uh, have for a long time, you know, um, going back to getting in the, you know, mixing in the box before we had a lot of great uh, digital tools. I'm using all this um, outboard, you know, running into the line inputs of outboard preamps like the Neves APIs and, you know, there's some tube stuff up here. But all of a sudden now, mixing in the box sometimes is, is, is very necessary that we stay in the box. You know, there's a lot of great features to being in the box. And people like Plugin Alliance have given us some amazing tools uh, that I use every day. Um, you mega bundle owners have some of these great things. Like, look at this, the Black Box HD2. It's on uh, the stereo bus of, of my uh, first insert on my stereo bus on every mix I've done for the last couple of years. It's an amazing sounding tube saturation, fantastic tool. The Phil's Cascade, I've developed some presets that I use on acoustic guitar and drum overheads when they have a case of the, um, the, digi you know, the digititis, we'll call it. Um, and, and it really goes a long way into help get me where I wanna go. Uh, another real favorite of mine is the Lindell 80. Ever since they came out with this, uh, it's been on my, uh, you know, like my group masters pretty much exclusively. It's a fantastic emulation of the Neve transformer thing, which really, really goes a long way into, uh, you know, making our mixes sound um, rich and, and harmonically rich and, and um, pleasing. All right, but since this, you know, is a show on saturation and the fact that they just announced uh, the, this plugin right here, the Neil V76. I was excited to try this. I haven't tried it yet. This is my, this is my first time, so we're kind of going to be experiencing this together. Um, I have had the pleasure of using these preamps before in real. They're amazing. Um, they were originally made for the broadcast world, so they have a roll off about 40 and up at about 15. Or, you know, using this button right here, of course, we can make it linear and a flat response, but using this response, uh, I can get a more vintage analog tone, which is going to match the song that I'm that I'm you know ha that I have pulled up right now. And then we have some filters built in here, and we have this U73 um, compression, which is a some people called it the German Fairchild. It's a it had multiple tubes in it. It's a very you know variable mu circuit like the Fairchild was, and it's got some uh, fixed you know time constants, some program dependent time constants. That's the one here in the red. Uh, you know, a high pass filter, you know, into the circuit. It's, it's, a, it's a great, powerful analog tool, you know, right, just right here. So let's, uh, let's give it a listen. Um, you know, one thing I, I again, like, like I said, I like to do is I like to put it across my group masters, uh, analog saturation. So let's, um, let's, you know, in our default settings, let's uh, unbypass these. We won't use any filters other than the one that was, you know, built into the original circuit. And let's, uh, let's, drive, the, let's drive the gain up, let's just, you know, we're not scared. So let's, uh, let's listen. Let's uh, listen to the arrangement without it. And then I'm, after a few bars, I'm gonna engage the, uh, the, the Neold, okay? Okay, that, that, was, that was cool. Um, again, this is, this is my first time using this too. That's, that's really cool. You can hear that 15K a roll off, which is really helping this song, but the low, the low mids and, and the lows really got punchy. In fact, um, I can hear that the just like a real preamplifier would, the, the kick drum is starting to splatter the preamp a little bit. So I'm going to dial that, dial that back down just a little bit, and let's hear it one more time across the whole group. Okay. <laughs> That's fun. So let's go to a couple trouble spots within this mix. One thing that um, bothered me right away was the snare drum. And just a, it's just a little brittle, uh, very not analog sounding. And um, I, I'll show you the raw sound, okay? Okay, to fit this uh, song, we, we definitely need some analog help. So let's take this out. Let's... Um, Let's set that up to 80. Let's set that, that to three. And um, let's, let's just hear what just that does without the compressor. 
Yeah, nice. Before and after. So a lot darker, but it's not just frequency response. It's also, it's also muscle. Let's do add a little compression though. A fast release. Let's do the auto attack. And uh, let's see, you use the gain knob to drive into this, the, the compressor. So we'll have, probably have to adjust it a little. Let's uh, parallel about 50%. And let's use some makeup gain here. A little more makeup gain to make up for the volume we lost with the high frequency. And then let's take a listen in the mix without and then with. <laughs> Yeah, that, that, that sets the snare drum in the mix where it belongs. It, that uh, high frequency bite isn't coming out and grabbing us. Another element that I thought was uh, problematic was the hi-hat loop. Um, the motion is great. It, the arrangement needs that motion, but it doesn't need to bite us in the face like it currently is. Uh, let's, let's solo that up and let you hear it. Okay, let's put Neold on. Let's roll, let, again, let's engage that 3K filter and all the way up to about 300 here. And let's crank the gain. Let's get lots of saturation going here. And let's, um, let's listen, especially when it, it simulates the hi-hat opening. Let's, uh, let's hear that, you know, a couple times. Then I'll engage Neold and we'll hear if that is kind of contained and not, not uh, hurting our feelings as much as it was a while ago. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I needed just a little makeup gain to, for the uh, apparent volume loss. So uh, on the trim here, I'll do that on the trim. Let's listen one more time. Yeah, hear how much, you know, how round and analog that sounds now versus that, um, you know, whatever we want to call it before. Well, I, I call it digititis. So uh, another, you know, one more element. Let's touch on one more thing. The electric guitar here, you know, that, that retro surfer uh, tremolo style guitar. I love, you know, what it's doing. And it's a really a big part of the production. But up around 6K, it's hurting my feelings just a little bit. All right, so let's listen to it in solo, okay? Especially those notes right there, they really jump out. So uh, let's turn this on. Let's, uh, I really want this to be mid-range focused. So I'm gonna do three on the top, 300 right here. Why not? We ain't scared of nothing, are we? Well, yeah, sometimes I am, but not, not of this, not of this. All right, so um, let's, uh, let's engage the compressor too. Let's, uh, we'll do a little parallel with it. Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna leave the fast attack but I'm gonna turn it down to about 50%. Yeah, let's hear that in the track. Yeah, it, 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 it's fitting. It, that's exactly where it needs to live. Okay, so just for fun, now with three channels affected, you know, the most, uh, we'll call it the most offensive channels within the mix, and our group masters, Let's hear how much of a difference we'll bypass this whole roll. And let's listen now for a couple bars without any kneeled. Then we'll listen, you know, to it engaged on the few sources that we have. Yeah, the song, all of a sudden it has a more analog vibe, but it's also got some muscle. Let's, let's, uh, let's listen one more time. Same thing, so we can hear that 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 the uh, those guitar rakes in bar one. Okay, that's that's the power of saturation. That snare drum, uh, that hi hat that was biting our face off. Instantly, the whole mix is gluing together and taking on the type of vibe that we wanted it to in the first place. That's you know that that that's a powerful that's a powerful feature. 
So you, uh, you plug in Alliance bundle owners, your mega bundle owners, you have so many great tools right there in your locker. Experiment with these things. This, this, in, this Neold is incredible. Uh, like I said, I've had incredible success with the Lindell, the Black Box, and some of the other things in their product line. Really take time to get to know these guys and figure out where you know and how to use them to their fullest and your mixes will improve, I, I guarantee it. All right guys, happy mixing.